hey, it's been a while. And I apologize, I've meant to get this video up weeks and weeks ago. Stuff just kept coming up, you know, we're all stuck in this science fiction movie loop that never seems to end. It just gets weirder and weirder every day. But anyway, here we are. It's time to show you how to make an N95 bandana mask. It's super simple. I mean, at least this method that I've come up with. I wanted to create something out of, out of just nothing, you know, find things around the house that you can slap together. Let's start with this. This is an N95 mask. In the before times, you could find tons of these for like nothing at all at your big box store or your hardware store. This is a 3M vented N95. This is the kind of mask that you don't want to wear on the street out and around because this vent lets your exhausted air go through and spread around if you're asymptomatic or if you're spreading. You can infect people through this mask. You don't want to use this kind of mask. But when I started this project, this was all I had because everything else was sold out. My idea was, can we take a bandana, just a common bandana, an everyday bandana, you know, it's going to cost you like a dollar or two someplace. Can you take that and combine it with an N95 mask? Somewhere along the way, I tripped into the Broad Air Pro, which is a powered mask. It's got this ventilation unit that pushes air into the mask, which I really like. And there's a video that I did earlier. If you haven't seen it, I'll link to it. I, I looked at this and said, man, there's got to be a way to make this Broad Air Pro work with a bandana. Now, the trick with the Broad is these are KN95 masks. It's a different standard than the American N95. KN is a, I guess it's a Chinese standard. Now this particular model that they sell with has a side exit. And this didn't work out for me. I'll show you why. Here's how we build this little mask. Let me find a bandana here that uh, is a little bit brighter. You just take your bandana, you fold it over like that. Then, you go for the secret, secret ingredient. I got it around here someplace. If I didn't just lose it when I dumped my stuff out there. Oh yeah, here we go. You're bound to have some of these around. If not, you can pick them up at your five and dime if you know what that is, or a, a staples. Paper clips. All you need is a couple of paper clips to hook a mask behind the bandana. And so then once you do that, we'll take, uh, we'll take this guy, even though it has the vent in it. You take your mask and you match it up with the pattern. I'll shoot this a second time so you get a better view of it. But you basically just take the paper clips, clip it to the mask carefully. One, two will do it. So now you've got a mask, a real deal mask behind the bandana. That's all the protection you're gonna need. Just put it on like a regular old bandana. There we go. Bandana mask. It seals pretty well up top, especially if you've got a good mask with the metal in it. It can be a little bit loose around the chin, but you just tighten it up and you're good to go. Well, let me show you what's happened with the standard broad. The reason that I don't like using these side exit KN95s is because it makes things look a little funny. So when I take this guy, this broad here, and I do the same thing with it. Match it up here. Put my paper clips on. One. Two. Right? Same deal here. Because the hose is a side exit, it can get stressed here and it kind of pops out and looks a little funny. 
Okay, what do we do about that? Well, let me show you. Next idea I had was, well, it needs to be a center exit because these, these side exits, it's gonna look funny. The problem is these are sewn. These can 95s are sewn or sealed like in a seam. Whereas these guys are, are one piece. The fabric is just one piece. I looked and looked around, couldn't find any of these, but I did find, uh, what were they, Mac rights. I don't know if they are real deal Mac rights or not, but I found Mac rights that I could possibly use. But before they came, I started experimenting with these old 3Ms I had around. First thing I did was I ripped the ventilator valve out and I, and I <laughs> just mounted it there and then pushed it out. I don't know, you're like an elephant or something. <laughs> it, it's kind of like this, hold on a second. It kind of looked like a little bit like this, like an elephant. So it pushed the mask out further or the bandana out further. Then I said, well, I'm going to try another experiment. I got another one of these. I'm still waiting. What would happen if I mounted it lower? So down here. So then I mounted here and that got out of the way. That kind of just draped naturally. Once the box of Macrite showed up, I went to town. I took a, took a Macrite mask. I cut a hole in the bottom and mounted it up like this. So you can see, I'll put that down there. You can see how it just drapes down naturally and then the folds of the bandana, you don't even see it. Let me hook this up with the bandana. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the Macrite. A little bit smashed up. We're gonna do the same exact thing we did with the last two masks with the with that uh, KN95 and with the 3M N95. We're gonna match it up, center it. If you've got a pattern, it makes it easy to do. So you look so stylish. And that's about it, man. You 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 know you're wearing a mask because you want to protect yourself, but you're wearing a big bandana because you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask. That makes sense, right? And it kind of does to me. And quite honestly, when you're wearing one of these things and people see the hose and they see the unit, it freaks them out like, dude, what's up with that? Is something wrong? Like, no, I just have trouble breathing with a mask. So, so here we go. We're in here, put it on. Tighten it up. Okay, so now it drapes underneath. You can turn the unit on. And what I like to do is just tuck it inside my shirt. You can't even see it now. So now I have a real deal N95 underneath my bandana. I have a ventilator, <laughs> a hidden ventilator pushing air in there. I don't have trouble breathing anymore and I don't necessarily look like Darth Vader. <laughs> Which if you had to go out in public, you know, maybe someone should just make a Star Wars themed N95 powered ventilator and maybe that'll be my next video. Oh boy, that'll be the big one. So that's it in a nutshell. I've incorporated a broad Air Pro with a bandana using a Macrite N95. It could use a little bit more tightness around my chin. And I'm gonna work on that. You know, there's gotta be a way to, to, to pull it a little bit tighter. But I tend to use two bandanas at once. And man, that virus ain't getting in here. I'm too damn old. I can't get sick. That's all I got for now. There'll be more crazy videos later. Hopefully they'll have better audio.